guys, Victoria here and welcome to the Geeky Sandbox. All right guys, today is a big day. Ah, I'm so excited. We finally got our very first episode of American Horror Story season eight, which is apocalypse. So much has happened guys, we have so much to talk about. You know, I'm really gonna try to stick to doing my top five moments of the episode. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, for those of you who haven't seen this episode, I'm just giving you a quick spoiler warning. So if you haven't seen the first episode of season eight of American Horror Story and you don't want to get spoiled, please turn back now and come back once you've seen the episode. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a trigger warning as well. Um, there is quite a bit of violence as always with American Horror Story in regards to blood, shootings and suicide. And if you're very sensitive to things like that, then turn back as well. So overall, I'll say they started the episode off very, very strong. Uh, it was very strong and intense. There was a newscast at the beginning. The emergency alerts along were super terrifying and my heart sank. There was quite a bit of humor in this episode, more than I expected. Evan Peters, oh my God, you guys know I talk about him all the time. Evan Peters plays a hairdresser in this episode or really the season and I am in love with it. Number five, Joan Collins. Come on guys, she just deserves this number five spot for being Joan Collins. She plays Evie in this season. She's the grandmother of Evan Peters' character. Her elegance, her presence, her humor were just spot on the entire first episode. Uh, one of the things that's really funny to me is when Evan Peters runs in, he's like, he's like, Nana, Nana, what are you doing? He's like, missiles are coming. And then she's like, what? she like waves her hand at him and she's like, so is global warming. And I just thought she was very, like a nice presence and nice balance to have, kind of like the kooky weird aunt or in-law that's at the dinner table. Number four, World War Three. Ryan Murphy and Brad, have, they just really have just done it again. They usually do a pretty good job at tying in what jokes people make in regards to politics and pop culture, and they're really good at implementing that into their show, and they always manage to do it seamlessly, though last season with Colt, it was a little bit on the nose, of course. But yeah, like I said at the top of this recording, the, there was just so much happening, like the text messages of like incoming missiles and families hugging each other goodbye and just like the red alerts and things like that just going off really set the tone. And uh, unfortunately, Hong Kong, LA and many other places were hit and cratered by the missile. And just a quick sidebar, Leslie Farah, who plays Veronica Hastings, uh, Spencer's mother in the TV show Pretty Little Liars, plays an agent in this episode, and it was amazing. She looks really good, and that role suits her. Number three, two of our new characters, Timothy and Emily, they've been taken away from their families and they've been stuck into a bunker because of something in their DNA, air quotes. So they eventually get transported to Outpost 3 with their host being Miss Venable, played by Sarah Paulson. And guys, she looks really good. So, so good. And her presence and just, ugh, just everything about her in this first episode was amazing. They're wondering why they're there. We're wondering why they're there. But all she tells them is that she is the face of the cooperative and that's all they needed to know. And just another sidebar, visually this season looks amazing. Just the design, the set design, the hallways, the lighting, everything really sets the tone. And of course, we get our first slap of the season. Leslie Grossman's character, I uh, can't remember her name right now, she gets slapped by Ms. Venable whenever she gets really upset about the food portions uh, that they're getting. Number two, we find out that they're making up their own house rules in order to torture and make the guests miserable. And by they, I mean Ms. Venable and Miss Miriam Mead, who's played by Kathy Bates. And they're pretty much just going against the rules that the cooperative have set in place. They're doing everything, well, mostly Miss Venable. Um, there's a little hesitation with um, Miriam, but Miss Venable is very happy about going against the cooperative. She wants to just kind of do things for their own pleasure and just to kind of get a good kick out of everyone else's demise. And this results in Evan Peterson's character and another character within the show named Stu getting washed and brutally brushed because uh, they've been, air quote, contaminated, if that makes sense. There's a little meter that Miss um, Miriam goes around and reads them with saying that someone's been outside, which after, of course, we find out that they're just making trouble for the other guests that this wasn't the case. Drew, or excuse me, Stu can't get clean. Um, and so instead of brushing him again and washing him again, Miss Miriam just kills him. Number one, Michael Langdon, the demonic offspring of Vivian Harmon and Tate Langdon makes his perfect and dramatic entrance. 
He tells Ms. Venable that their outpost is destined to fall, so he's pretty much there to just kind of observe and see who he wants to take back to his outpost, which has unlimited food and supplies. And Ms. Venable's kind of like, okay, so are you taking all of us? Like, what's the deal? And he's like, I may take none of you, which this really freaks her out because maybe for the first time in a very long time, she actually has to stop putting on and show what she's worth. This season is promising. Well, anyways, guys, that just about does it for my recap or review of American Horror Story Season 8, Episode 1. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a like rating down below. And go ahead and leave me a comment. What other crossovers are you looking forward to within Episode 2? Is there a character you didn't see in this first episode that you are waiting to see? And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye!